Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create the radial chart in Power BI using Charticulator. So radial chart is uh, is very useful to visualize let's say day day to day information or very detailed information just to get some sort of a trend out of it and on this uh, radial chart we were going to plot the weather data. So over here, if I come on the Power BI, what do I have is a very simple, uh, very simple for the Boston as a city, we have daily temperature as you can see from 1st of Jan, 2nd Jan, so on and so forth, right? So this is all the temperature data that you have for I believe 2015. So it should be all 365 days, yep. So this is what the data we have. We have the city, we have the average temperature, minimum, maximum, uh, participation, average daily wind speed, for snowfall and snow lap. And we were going to utilize the Charticulator like this one, Microsoft Charticulator. So if you are coming here on the very first time, I have already posted two videos like how to create bump chart and uh, intro to Charticulator where we have created the lollipop chart which which is very use uh, you know popular in Tableau so that's something is what I were going to create today for radial and uh, the way you get the charticulator is first thing first you need to sign in into your use uh, utilizing your official ID uh, and because that's what they need to get the custom visual then you click on get more visuals and once you click on the get more visuals you can uh, you need to search for the charticulator like this so over here search for the charticulator and since it is for microsoft corporation so you can trust it right otherwise there is a, always an issue like data breach and all that sort of a thing so again be careful of what you do uh, with the help of the charticulator uh, another thing is uh, quick information that this sheet which is a live google sheet as you can see the link of this sheet is present in the description that way you can come and view all of my previous 200 videos which is about the power bi features like visualization dax some dashboards and all is something what i've captured based on my knowledge and then we have some exercises which i'm keeping in a separate tab so that you can easily search any of my exercise which i'm utilizing using the power bi workout wednesday website great website for tableau and power bi challenges and each uh, whenever I time not like each week but if every day I can do that that's amazing because these this is something from the previous year they have posted it so a lot of good things over here I highly recommend that you do or you you do the exercise on your own but if you find issue you can either see my solution or they have their own solution down there uh, on after at the end of the challenge so with that information oops what did I do I have just dragged it down. Okay, so if I come back, uh, creating radial chart has become really simple with the help of the charticulator. If I just clicked on the charticulator, as you could see. Um, so over here, we need to add just a couple of fields. Why? Because, see, first thing first is you need to go into the edit mode. So the way we need to go into the edit mode is by clicking it over here. Right, and radial chart is present here. So you need to make sure that you have the template. So once you click on this link template, you will going to download the template and you need to also click on the data set. You will going to get the Boston weather data set, right? So make sure you download use utilizing this link, these two links, the data set and the template. But to enable, to import template, we need to add fields. So average temperature, something we need to add, city we need to add, maximum temperature we need to add minimum temperature we need to add and participation is something we need to put here but here right so now as soon as i add even just one field import template is enabled so i'll click on import template as you can see i have already downloaded this template so i can select this this is a reference however you can utilize your own data set after understanding the chart so average temperature, maximum, minimum, participation. And I'll give you one scenario as an exercise for this. 
so you can save the mapping but you are not getting it well that's the problem and i sort of scratched my head for almost 45 to 1 hour and this is why i create the videos uh, to give so that you are not scratching your head and you get the solution quickly so if you are facing the same problem and that's why i landed on this video see this the problem is it is aggregating the value so if i click on don't summarize it will start taking the shape right and don't summarize don't summarize and every measure just say don't summarize and you have your chart right make sure you click on save and come back to the report so that way you can see it start with a uh, you know probably the winter time going all the way and showing in the middle like boston so that can be something think about this this can be like your product for one particular product you want to create or one particular geography you want to create and this minimum maximum average value is your sales values let's say for example and this bubble that you are seeing which is participation is nothing but let's say the discount you have given and this is what uh, in one of the examples i have shown you have all of these values you have sales you have discount you have product category it's just that you need to create one simple table only for one product let's say and an example of that is also given over here right you will see that how to create a custom table over here when you will search over here create table uh it should show you um how to create how to create a new table using group by function right so maybe the new table is the keyword if i'm not wrong new table yeah you can see a couple of examples how to create new table how to create summarize table dax how to create new table right so multiple example i have given you just search it by new table create a new table only to have these four five fields right and create a chart like this for you which is about the minimum sale maximum sales what is the discount that you have given and this will be like very interesting chart in terms of visualizing the entire one year worth of your uh, sales information or if you have any other scenario in your mind that also you can do so that's mainly i wanted to show you uh, how you can create this radial chart replicate it on your own data by creating a custom table and then utilizing it in your dashboard that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic